Hey everybody, Happy New Year, Dr. Smith here. And today I'm gonna give a follow-up video to the short foot video. And I wanna thank you guys for all of your um, responses and questions and everything like that. That's great to hear that feedback, I love it. Sorry if it takes me a few months to get back to you, eventually I will. Um, but check out the other responses to other people and that might help answer a lot of your questions. So some of the main uh, problems that people have had is that they just feel like this exercise is too hard. And I just want to let you know, it was hard for me when I started. It's hard for all of my patients who have weak feet and weak intrinsic foot muscles, okay? And so don't worry. It doesn't feel like you're doing anything at first. Keep at it and you'll get it. And one of the keys to this is using your imagination, okay? So you have a picture from the first video of my foot doing it. And I'm going to show you again. Um, and so you can use kind of like an image like that, but imagine your foot actually doing that motion, kind of contracting up into that arch and pulling up in those intrinsic muscles. And eventually your body will catch on and do what your brain is asking you to do. Okay, so some of the other things that might be making it a little bit difficult for people to progress in the short foot exercise is wearing shoes with a lot of arch support, especially if they're wearing something with a hard orthotic. So if you're walking around all day and that foot's jammed up and it's not moving, and then you go to do the foot exercise, those muscles have kind of atrophied throughout the day. The joints themselves might be stuck. And remember, for muscles to work, they need a lever to pull the force on, and that lever is our bones. So if our bones are stuck and jammed up and there's scar tissue wrapped around those joints and they can't move, those muscles aren't going to be able to exert a lot of force. They're not going to be able to move things, to lift your weight, to hold your arch or hold your body weight. And so to create that ability for those muscles to be strengthened, you need to make sure that you have flexibility in those joints. A lot of us don't. Like I said, if we've been in shoes for a long time, especially poorly designed shoes, um, those joints in our feet are going to be stuck and jammed up. And you may need a chiropractor to release those for you, to get those moving again, at least so you know what it feels like. Eventually you'll be able to keep that and maintain that flexibility on your own. But you may have to uh, get some assistance. We all need a little help now and again. So we want that flexibility in our foot. We don't want really tight, rigid, a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, arch support when we're starting to develop our arches. Now you don't have to go completely minimalist if you've been wearing your typical standard Kmart shoe for a while. Um, but just gradually get there. You know, start to get like a little bit of a, a smaller arch in your shoe or a little bit more flexible orthotic if you're using a hard orthotic and, and allow those muscles to start to react. Allow those nerves to start to sense a different in your, difference in your weight as you walk and move through. Okay. So those are probably some of the things that are slowing some people down. Um, hopefully that helps. Um, so keep at it. Keep working at that first video. Now what I showed you in that first video was me sitting uh, with my foot down just resting on the ground. So there's no weight involved. And that's the, the way I recommend you practice this. Don't start practicing standing up on your, on your feet at first. Wait till you can do 50, 40 or 50 or so in a set um, without any weight on your feet before you start to stand up and do this weighted. Okay, so let me review what we did last time and take a look at these feet of mine. Let's see if I can get this shot. All right, we're gonna pause here and we'll try to splice this together, or find someone to help me be able to do that. Okay, here we go. Here I am, here's my caveman foot and I'm gonna review the first short foot exercise and then show you once you can get up to you know 40 or 50 reps how to start to gain more power and more strength in these intrinsic muscles of your foot to support your arch okay and prevent injuries okay so you can see when my foot is resting there's an arch in there and I didn't always have that and that's just due to the muscles that now are strong and tight pulling my foot into its natural shape but what I grew up with was that, okay? So you can see when I come off of it, it makes an arch because those muscles are strong and tight. They're supporting my arch. But when I'm resting and I go to weight bear on there without contracting, it flattens out because my ligaments um, have been stretched out in that arch. Okay, so that's, that's my caveman foot. That's what I started out with. Okay, now the exercise again is relaxing the toes. Okay, so you're not kind of crunching the toe flexors there. You're relaxing those and you're pulling up your arch like that, okay? You use muscles not only in your foot, but also up here into your leg, especially up kind of in the front part and on the side. Kind of the whole leg kind of pulls up like that. And again, at first you might not even be able to do that, but don't worry, eventually you'll be able to get here, okay? Remember, slow, you know, smooth movements coordinated with your breathing. So maybe inhale 
and exhale. Especially slowly lowering that um, arch down is the most important part of the exercise. Slowly, controlled, smooth. You want to build that good muscle control so you have good proprioceptive reaction to the ground forces as you're running, jumping, surfing, whatever you're doing. Okay, so again, this is non-weight bearing. So once I get strong enough and I can do 40, 50 of these, I'm going to go to weight bearing. Okay, so I recommend doing it on two feet first, okay, so that you kind of even out your weight. All right, and then again, you'll pull up and relax. And pull and relax. And then when you can do 40 or 50 of these, you can get really advanced, stand on that one foot, and pull up and relax. I'll get my heel on there a little bit better. Okay, pull up and relax. So you're lifting your whole body weight now just on that one foot. Okay, and then close your eyes. Integrate the proprioceptors. Practice that balance so that the foot become amazingly able to adapt to the ground as you're moving at high speeds. Okay, so there it is. Advanced short foot exercise. Again, thanks for your feedback. Thanks for your questions and comments. Good luck out there. You know, go get a chiropractic adjustment on those feet. It feels really good and uh, helps loosen them up so those muscles can work right. All right, good luck out there. Stay healthy. Have a wonderful new year.